Oh no, I feel so bad. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is a little bit of an unplanned video. A lot of you will remember my Chinese trapdoor or my hourglass spider. I did an unboxing and that's pretty much the last we've seen of it. People ask me for a feeding clip all the time and I hate to tell you, but this thing has not eaten in like at least a month. And every time it has eaten, I haven't even seen it. I've become more and more concerned. You see, there used to be like a little window here at the bottom and sometimes I would see it walk across it but I have not seen anything for weeks. Now it doesn't have a smell or anything at least right now I don't smell anything however I have grown really concerned about it because of course it is wild caught the lifespan isn't forever and we don't know really how it was living or how healthy it was when it was caught shipped around made it to me. So I'm actually really concerned on uh, how it's doing because it hasn't eaten I haven't seen it walk across the window and I really haven't even seen the thing since I unboxed it months ago. Like I've only seen it here and there through a little hole at the bottom that I can kind of see into with a flashlight. So normally I don't really recommend digging up your spider or your tarantula until you're extra concerned. And I would say that I'm at the point where I'm extra concerned because with a spider like this, if it does die, you don't really realize it right away typically. Like you're not going to because they don't come up, you go weeks, months without seeing them. So yeah, you just wouldn't know. And so I thought we would go ahead and investigate together since I know you guys are curious and I'm literally just, if not more curious on how it's doing. Now, somebody did mention that if the substrate is too deep, sometimes they will not feel the prey walking across it. I don't know how true that is, but just in case it is true and considering the fact it doesn't leave its teeny tiny burrow, I'm actually gonna be rehousing it from here to here because this will still give it the room it wants to kind of crawl around the bottom and it'll still give it plenty of substrate to do some burrowing. However, it's also going to be a little bit more shallow to where if that is true, it will feel the prey easier. And also I can hopefully monitor it just a little bit better. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Before we do that, I do have a few things to open for my PO box really quick. One I already opened, which are these leggings from Everything Exotic. They are in Balfouri. That and also he sent me this little Halloween shirt with E. Marinus on it. Yeah, it's got skulls, bones, and then the skeleton leg tarantula. You definitely know my taste for sure. So that's awesome. Thanks. I'll put a link down below. This is not sponsored. He just sent me these. So thank you. Next, we have a little something from actually a friend of mine, Jojo. Don't ever change. Love you, girl. Thank you for your support. Love you too. And thank you for all of the stickers. We have shiny ones and we have regular ones. Thank you, girl. And I will go ahead and link her channel down below if you don't know who she is. This is from a Patreon. Um, thank you so much. Megan, you actually sent me two and I, I did get your message saying that something went wrong with the first. So I don't know if these are the same. The first one came with a gift for you. Thank you for your amazing videos and shared love for tarantulas. I thought you may like this, enjoy. I have not looked at what they are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is epic. This is beautiful. Like, thank you so much, Megan. I love this. I know exactly where I'm gonna put it too. I have a little shelf with all my unnecessary trinkets that I cannot stop collecting. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right up here with all my little rocks and trinkets and uh, plants that I definitely don't forget to water all the time. So we got two, I don't know if it's gonna be the same thing. I personally wouldn't be mad if it is because it's adorable. They're friends, oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Megan, and thank you again for being a patron. And speaking of Patreon, I actually wanted to thank my new patrons because there are a few of you and I seriously appreciate your support. It really actually helps my channel a lot. Thank you. Heather, Nick, Veronica, Zeus, Elizabeth, Russell, Lena, Kathy, Derek, Bridget, Katrina, Estefan, Goob, Tyler, Stacy, Laura, and Tyler. And with all of that said, we have to dig this little one out. So let's see what's going on. If it is not alive, I'm gonna be really sad. So obviously we're just gonna have to start dumping it out because I don't really know another way. I'm gonna try to be really careful though. Um, I guess let's do it like this. 
Now I will say it does have a lot of humidity still in it, so like that's good. I don't smell, what is this? Okay, this is some webbing, so yeah, there's definitely some kind of webbing going on right there. Let me see if I can get a better look. Oh wow, I see a burrow. Do you guys see that burrow? So it definitely built like a, oh my, oh my God, is it alive? I think I see some legs. You guys, I see some legs, I'm pretty sure. I see some legs that moved. Okay, let's keep going, I guess. Yeah, I think it's alive. Oh my God. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. Now remember, it does kind of play dead. It might come out running, it might come out being pretend dead. It's so hard to really see what's going on, but I, I'm pretty sure it's has some legs and I, I think it's alive. I feel really bad. Oh no! Was it in there? Was it in there or is it in here? I literally cannot tell. I don't know where it went. I thought I saw it. Oh my God, I see its butt. This is really difficult, like way more difficult than I was thinking it would be. It's like, I don't want to hurt it, obviously. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to have to just drop it out like this. Okay, it's somewhere in here. Okay, I think it's probably, oh no. Something's moving. Is this it? I found it. Uh-oh. I don't know if it's still alive, you guys. Oh no. Okay, there it is. I think it's still alive. I definitely disturbed it. It definitely had a pretty elaborate burrow going on in there. I'm gonna set this aside for now. Don't worry, I can see it. This is the enclosure that I'm going to use. A nice little tarantula cribs one. At least now it'll have a special enclosure. But yeah, I think I'm gonna actually reuse this substrate, so. I'm going to go ahead and mix some leaves in here. Oh gosh. Let's hope it's playing dead and not actually. Obviously, I'm not going to pick it up, but I'll just, um... Are you alive? <gasps> it is alive! Oh my gosh! Hello! I am so sorry to wake you up. Oh my gosh. See how it's like clamped down, but yeah. It's, that was so scary for you, I'm sure. I'm so sorry about that. Well, now we know. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a little piece of cord. I'm so sorry about that. I feel so bad. I literally just destroyed its burrow. So get a good look now, guys, because we're not gonna be seeing it for quite a long time, I have a feeling. Pretty sure we're just going to hide again. I'm just kind of giving its body a little look to make sure everything's okay. Kind of surprised there was no molt or anything in there. Get a good look. There's its booty. But do you see how it like totally plays dead? It's not. It's responsive. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. I will seriously leave you alone. At least now we have a nice new enclosure and it can build another burrow. I put it in the bedroom for just a few minutes to see what it would do and it already started trying to dig a burrow so I thought I would try to do a feeding clip really quick. <gasps> I think it does want to crack it. Wow, I'm so amazed at it. Look at it. Such a unique creature. I just feel so lucky to be looking at her. this. Come on, take it. No. I guess she's not interested. That's okay. I'm going to leave one cricket in there with her and I'm going to take one out just so she's not like outnumbered or anything. And I'll update you guys and let you know if she does eat the cricket. Later. She is finally eating a little cricket, so that's her first meal that I've seen. So yeah, I'm glad she's eating, and it looks like she is starting to work on her burrow as well.
it is alive and I honestly was not sure. Like normally, again, I would never dig my tarantula or my spider out of their burrow, but I kind of was really concerned when it hasn't eaten for like months and I haven't seen it for like months and it was just really concerning me and I wanted to rehouse it anyway, just in case it is true that they can't feel prey from that deep in the substrate. I kind of feel like in the wild, if that were true, they wouldn't burrow so deep into the ground. And you guys see like how how sealed in that burrow it was like it does not leave that burrow it does not leave that teeny tiny hole which goes to show like I know they're really rare to find and everything but just think about how many exist that aren't found because that is like the best defense from being collected or preyed on or anything like if I didn't know any better I would have dumped that whole dirt out and never have seen it if I didn't poke around a little bit more and investigate so they're very very good at concealing themselves and hiding and just staying in a teeny tiny little hole like their whole life what a cool little way to just avoid the world. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're happy that my trapdoor is still very much alive. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I'm an Instagram that I use probably way too much as at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Take care, stay well, stay spooky, stay safe my friends.